Welcome to my week 29 bump video. I cannot believe that this is my last week in the 20s and next week I will be 30 weeks pregnant. That just seems so crazy to me and just so close to the end. I mean, just knowing that I could potentially have only seven weeks left or 10 weeks or more. I mean, it's just getting so close and it makes me a little nervous, but a lot excited. So this week, baby is the size of a butternut squash or a small cabbage. Don't really eat too many butternut squashes or cabbages, um, but my app did tell me that the baby is anywhere from two and a half to three pounds now and um, about 16 inches in length. So the baby is almost there in terms of length um, and he just needs to fatten up a little bit. Um, they said his weight, my app was saying his weight will triple by the time you know I deliver him. So it definitely makes sense since he's only two and a half to three Three pounds right now that is not enough weight other things with baby his skeleton is starting to harden um, his muscles and his lungs are starting to develop even more getting him ready for birth um, and he's starting to run out of room um, and so his um, he just he's able to react more to stimuli such as sounds lights um, tastes and so his um, since he's reacting more, he is um, becoming more active. So all good things this week. Symptoms this week, I think my biggest symptom is actually with my nose. And I don't know if this is a pregnancy thing or just a me thing. I want to say it's a pregnancy thing because I've never really had this issue before. But my nose will become so sensitive. It has just become so sensitive lately. Constantly, I get this tingle in my nose and it makes me like almost want to sneeze, but then I never sneeze and so I'm just left with the tingle and it like almost kind of, it's like a burning sensation in my nose. It really annoys me and I don't know why it keeps happening. Of course, I still sneeze a whole ton. Um, my nose is still really congested too, but I don't know. I've been getting like just this weird burning sensation in my nose um, every so often and it happens quite often at least a couple times a day and I had never gotten this before um, in my previous weeks so that's like my newest biggest symptom um, I still have um, a lot of heartburn here and there I haven't really been taking Tums too often but I've noticed like if I bend down to get something and I come straight back up I'll start to feel heartburn and definitely at night it's always been at night when I you know first lay down I'll get like a really bad heartburn so sometimes I have to take Tums but most of the time it's just like a quick burning sensation and then it goes away and I don't even feel it anymore other symptoms um, I've definitely been feeling baby a ton more especially like the past couple days um, so at the very beginning it was kind of like a poke here a jab here then it kind of progressed to an, a whole body movement here a whole body movement there well now I now it seems like baby has just kicked it into high gear and I just feel him constantly I constantly feel him moving around he doesn't stop he's a very active baby um, of course there are still times when I don't feel him I'm sure he's sleeping um, but much more I am feeling him move much more often and for longer periods of time so it's really fun to feel him all the time now I'm constantly reminded that he's there how could I forget um, but it's fun to feel him. Anthony has felt him um, tons of times. He's seen him tons of times. Um, and so the baby is doing great. He's very, very active. It's so much fun to feel him inside my tummy. Um, I think I'll really miss feeling his movements after he's born. I think I can definitely feel that baby is starting to lose um, space um, because sometimes I swear I can feel him moving like at the bottom of my ribs and then other times I can feel him um, you know stretching out I'll feel him stretch out on one side and then on the other side at the same time um, and sometimes I'll feel like this really quick jabbing motion um, and it'll be like for a couple seconds it almost 
it almost feels like he's having a seizure. I know he's not, and it's just like, that's what the baby's movements are like, but that's the only way I can describe it. It feels like he's having a seizure inside my belly. So um, just different movements that I've been noticing from him. I've definitely been having to go to the bathroom a ton more. Um, I've noticed that my dreams, almost every other night, I have a dream about me going to the bathroom, but then I can never get to the bathroom, and then I wake up and I have to go to the bathroom really bad. So it's been kind of funny seeing like different dreams of about me having to go to the bathroom. It's a different dream every time, but um, I did wake up at like 4 a.m. this morning because um, I had to go to the bathroom really bad. So then I went to the bathroom, came back, and then of course baby thought it was time to get up. So he was moving around, tossing and turning like crazy. So of course I wasn't able to go to sleep, but it's all fine. I love feeling him and you know, I just love feeling his movements. Um, another big thing this week, I can't really lean forward anymore. My belly is just too big and it's too high up that if I ever lean forward, it's like I have no room between like the top of my sternum and like the bottom of my chest. And so it just like really, really hurts. So I constantly have to like lean back like this. Um, and I definitely think I start to like waddle around a lot more. Uh, just because it hurts just being like straight up and down like I need to lean back <laughs> Stretch marks. I haven't really noticed any new stretch marks. I showed you in my last video I've started to get stretch marks on my sides now. I haven't I don't have any on my belly at all um, I, I've had some on the under like underneath my boobs for a while now and now recently I've started to get um, Stretch marks on my sides. So I've been putting more lotion I still put on lotion every day and that seems to help. Um, I'm not as itchy but there are some times where all my belly will just itch like crazy um, and so I'll try to put more lotion on it as well I've also really noticed my skin being really dry I'm in winter time right now which makes sense but I've never had such dry skin before the hands yeah I've had it before in the past but I have it where you know my whole like my whole leg will be dry and scaly and I'll need to put lotion on my whole leg and I've never had that before or I've had it with my um my underarms and my armpits and it'll be like really really sensitive really dry and it needs like you know lotion or deodorant or something um so I think I think those are happening because those are the areas that I shave the most um but it's just a new sensation to me I've never had that problem before now speaking of yeah um, the shower and shaving. Um, it's become really hard for me to shave my legs. There's a step insert in my shower and so I'll put my foot up there and in the past I've been able to just suck in my belly a little bit and like move around it and see like you know my legs and things like that but it's getting harder and harder to suck in my belly and my belly's getting bigger and bigger that it's getting hard for me to actually like see everything and shave so that's been getting really difficult i don't know how i'm gonna keep up with it especially since my belly's just gonna continue to get huge no headaches actually i can't even remember the last time i took tylenol for a headache which is amazing that's just a reflection of me drinking enough and eating healthy and i mean i'm hoping um so i have I've had not had any headaches lately, which is awesome. Speaking of drinking, I have been super, super thirsty this week. I've been trying to drink more water instead of like Gatorade or like flavored water. So I've been doing better on that. But yeah, I just get so thirsty. Um, in addition to waking up in the middle of the night and having to go to the bathroom, I'm always super, super thirsty. So I always have to have like water or apple juice or something on my nightstand that I can drink because I just get so thirsty. I have noticed myself getting kind of hot at different times. Um, I've said in my previous videos, I've always been more of a cold person and I still get times where I'm really cold, but I've noticed lately and it's kind of like more at night, I'll just get so hot and I just like can't even have the covers on me because I'll just be so hot and it's winter, like it's cold out. So that's kind of funny to deal with. I haven't really had any new cravings or food aversions. I think I think this is all I'm gonna get right now. Um, the other day I was really, really craving a chocolate chip cookie. Um, and so we went and had one. We had like this huge chocolate chip cookie and then we had like ice cream on top of it. It was so good. Um, so other than that, I really haven't had any cravings. 
Um, I am trying to watch my weight. I'm not doing too good on it. I think the last time I weighed myself, I was 142. So I'm not really sure if I'm gaining a pound a week or two pounds a week, but I think I'm still doing pretty good weight wise. I mean, hey, I don't have gestational diabetes, so I'm feeling pretty good about myself. I have kind of noticed my emotions um, being really extreme at times. Um, there'll be some times where I'll just be like so happy and so in love with Anthony and in such a good mood and he loves it. And then there are other times where I'm like, I just need you to hold me and I'm gonna break down and cry. Um, I think at times um, seeing how far along I am and how close I am to the labor, it just kind of really overwhelms me and scares me. Um, you know, I only have like two months, a little over two months left and this baby is gonna be here. So I'm freaking out at different times. Um, I'm stressing out at different times um, just because, you know, I'm, I wanna get the baby's room ready and I want to um, have all the clothes and wash all the clothes and, you know, I haven't had my baby shower yet. Um, and so it's just, I get really stressed out and I just need Anthony to make it better. And he is great, he's my rock. He is always there for me and helps me and calms me down. So it's great having him. He's been such a great support. He continues to, you know, want to be involved with baby. Um, our, we have parenting classes coming up next month. He hasn't complained at all about it. Um, and so he's being a really great husband, a really supportive husband. He's been making me healthy snacks to try to get me to eat healthier. He leaves me cute, you know, notes with the snacks. So he's doing awesome and I really, really appreciate him. Anthony, if you're watching this, I really appreciate you and everything you've done, you know, so far with this pregnancy and you're going to be a great dad. I don't think Anthony really watches my videos, um, even though this channel is called Shannon and Anthony, but, um, you know, he is a really great husband and I really appreciate him. Um, I have noticed myself being tired more often. It's not as, as extreme as it was in the first trimester um, because there are days where I'm like super tired and it's like 10 o'clock and I can't even keep my eyes open. But then there's other days like last night, I could not fall asleep and it was like midnight and I just still couldn't fall asleep. Or I wake up at 4 a.m. and I'm wide awake and can't fall asleep. So it just kind of depends, I guess, if I've gotten a good night's sleep the night before or not. Um, but it's not too bad yet. I really haven't had too bad of nausea. The only time nausea really seems to strike is if I wake up in the middle of the night or right before I go to bed, I'll just start feeling really nauseous for some reason. And it's never anything serious, like I need to run to the bathroom and puke. I still have not puked this entire pregnancy. It's just that nauseous feeling that you feel in your belly and it just doesn't feel great. I have noticed myself getting really hungry all the time, especially around breakfast time. If I skip breakfast, I never skip breakfast because I'm just so hungry. I'm always super hungry in the morning. And a lot of times I'll get hungry really late at night too. So I'm trying to eat healthy snacks and not too much you know, not too many snacks so I don't gain too much weight. We still have not decided on a name yet. Um, we're down to four names now. So we have Archer, Clark, um, Elliot, and Simon. So those are the names that we're dealing with. I don't think we're gonna have any new names um, and so we just kind of need to pick a name and decide on it and yeah we've got like 11 weeks to go so um, we need to get there but we'll figure it out eventually so uh, let me know down below if you guys have a favorite um, or a name that you think we should name the baby. So let me show you my week 29 bump. Okay, so here is the belly from the side with clothes on. I am wearing a maternity shirt, hence the ruffle on the side. Um, and then let me pull it up. So here is my bump from the side. Here it is from the front with my crooked line that doesn't even like match up. And here is my belly from the side. Again, you can see the stretch marks here. I'm trying to put lotion on them and make them go away. But I definitely feel like I look more round. I think I look bigger, especially compared to last week. And my belly just feels harder too. So there you go, here it is. Okay guys, well, I think that's all I have for this week. Not too much excitement, but some new symptoms that I have not had before and some old ones that are still there like heartburn. Um, stay tuned for next week. I will be 30 weeks. Oh my God. 
gosh, this is so crazy. Um, so definitely subscribe um, so that you're able to watch, you know, the next couple videos I post out. We're getting closer to the birth. I know you guys are going to want to see little baby Denzel and what he looks like. And I'm so excited to bring you along this journey with us. So stay tuned. Bye, guys.